Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new series, City Skylines. Woo! It's a classic city builder game uh, brought out shortly after SimCity delivered their disappointing latest version of their game. A couple of, a couple of months later, these guys turned around and was like, hey guys, we built the game you were after. So yeah, City Skylines. I started playing this uh, kind of casual myself just before Christmas. Uh, and I decided that I didn't do very well in the game that I'd actually started there. So I was like, okay, I want to start a new game. And as always when I think about that, it's like, well, do I want to record it or not? And then my mate Flemmy came round and he was like, I would watch the hell out of a series if you did this. So this is me doing this. And this one's for you, Flemmy. The real question, of course, is what city, or rather, what map we are going to change, uh, choose change. Uh, I like the idea of Sandy Beach. We're going to have left-hand traffic because I live in Europe, and that's the thing that we're going to do. We're not going to call it Lake Valley. No, we're, we're going to call it Tweetopia. Um, just because I, I like the way that sounds better than Twitchtopia. Uh, so, Tweetopia. Uh, and let's start with what have we got here. We've got highway, we have got some train... There is ship and plane connections. Exactly the sort of thing we want. It's a tropical theme, so we've got to get into the old uh, Caribbean style, maybe. I don't know, or somewhere else tropical. Thailand, I suppose, would be nice. And biggity bam, we're right in here. Looks quite nice. We can only build within this dotted line here, but we have access to a beach. That's very nice. We have access to uh, some trees. That That's also very good. I don't know if we're actually going to have access to be able to build some industry here that takes advantage of those trees, but we will find that out. But more importantly, we have these two roads here. You'll see that they are one-way roads. They go in. Uh, and I'm thinking that we want to bring them up to about here before we do anything with them. Let's see what we've got in this resource panel absolutely nothing of course we've got absolutely nothing so let's build a road now to make these we want this stuff but we can't obviously we cannot uh do we have anything including like a roundabout no we need to reach a population of so high so in the original sim city you used to be able to unlock these things by meeting certain requirements like certain things like if you built so many opera houses you've got the grand opera house and stuff like that almost everything and i almost everything works a little bit differently in city skylines it's all about your population uh, you'll see that when we reach a, a population of 500 we get we become a little hamlet uh, and then we get all this stuff to play with so let let's let's start on doing that shall we obviously we cannot do anything too major at this point in time because we have nothing to do so i think what we're going to do is um let's bring these forwards like this uh, we will upgrade these roads with an appropriate type of um What's the word I'm looking for? An appropriate type of... This thing, motorway, highway, that... Oh, language, language is such a struggle for me at times. Uh, yeah, we will upgrade these to the same type of highway at some point to come to a, a roundabout here. Now that we've put stuff down, does it allow me to put down a roundabout? It does, that's, that's brilliant. Now, there's two ways of doing it. Either I try and make it match up like this, which, no, is not the way. Or we put it sideways like this, pop that down like that, and then get rid of these little offshoot roads here. I think that's kind of the best way to do it. It, it kind of mucks around. It doesn't muck around. It, it takes away anything that wants to auto-snap into place. And those auto-snap options, they're, they're the worst. They are the worst. Okay, that's great. Can we actually lay any down yet? No, we can't. So, we have got a road coming in to a massive roundabout. Where do we want to go with the roundabout? Do we get to see natural resources yet? We don't. We do not. Okay, that, that's fine. I think the next thing we want to do is move a road up to the beach area. The beach is going to be um, all important, if nothing else, because we need a sewage outlet. As much as I don't want to start destroying our beach already, we can, can go north, can go sideways. At some point, if I click this, we'll be able to buy new areas, but we can't at this present moment in time. This, this might be a nice area to go for, but we can't at this present moment in time. So I think right here we're going to put quite a nasty looking house well I say a nasty looking house estate quite a um, an in, well, a high density uh, it's not going to be high density because we don't have access to high density but quite a uh, an industrial looking area here and see all the words that I want to use industrial and, and high density and stuff like that they all have opposite meaning well not opposite meaning they all have other meanings in this game and that makes it very awkward for me to talk to you just naturally but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try we're gonna struggle on uh, okay so what are we gonna do here I think what we need is just a little bit of a, a layout system here not not there is there good no of course we will spend forever trying to find the right spot there uh, and we're gonna come down maybe make that and this 
Go all the way across if we can. To there, maybe? Is that a thing? That's not a thing. We want to go a little bit further. Let's uh, get rid of that. Because it, gets a, it gets really awkward once you place the road down once to be able to put down the rest. Ah, oh, would you believe it? Just a little bit too far. Maybe if we pull that back here, we can... Ah, uh, it won't have it. That's unfortunate. So if we do that, pull this in here. This should hopefully line us up a lot better. There we go. Now, is that going to be good? Is that going to be a traffic nightmare? I think it's going to be a traffic uh, Mainly because look how close these two are together. But this is something we can deal with at a later point. Maybe we will actually make them some sort of cul-de-sac or something like that. Uh, let's go up to here, across like that. And then just from here, we've got the lines already laid out. Brilliant. Boom. Job done. Okay, so you'll see down here we've got the standard um, RCI indicator. Residential, commercial in and industrial. Uh, but I am just going to plonk down a couple of... Yeah, no, I am. I'm just going to do that. Uh, right, so we've got room for people. What we do not have is some way of them having water. Now, this this water tower provides a water source for areas that do not allow water pumping station to be built. If the water tower is built on polluted soil, soil the water will be contaminated. That's all right, because we're not going to do anything like that. What I want to know is, do we really want to get some pumping going on here? I mean, this is above and beyond what we need. Does it show which way water flows here? No, it doesn't. You can see here that we've got a flow going on there. So that this is which way the water flows if we were to build the uh, sewage plant there. You can see there's even more going around that way. So I think what we're going to do is build a sewage plant here. Because that's very important. We've got to deal with, with human waste. And we're going to deal with a pumping station here. And then we will find somewhere for some ridiculous power. Um, ooh. So, the way it works here, you see you've got all these different colours. The darker the colour, the better the wind power. In fact, it will show there. You'll see on the, uh, the underneath of my tooltip, there's a estimated production. Uh, if we go up into the darker areas, you get seven. There should be an eight around somewhere. No, it's all, it's all sevens. That's pretty, pretty poor. Here's an eight. Okay, so we're going on to the beach uh, for an eight. This will also... The sewage, we really want to make sure it always has power. If the sewage does not have power, people get... Get proper uppity. I mean, I don't know about you, but when my sewage lines block up, I'm, I, I get a little bit vexed and start hop, uh, shouting at people like the council and stuff like that. Rightly so, I think you'll say. Rightly so. I may have put these together the wrong way, but we're going to do with that anyway. The reason I think we may have done that in the wrong way is because we've got the water pump going to the sewage before it comes to us. Uh, another thing we have to bear in mind is, of course, that we need power. Uh, so I'm going to bring this out all the way up to here, but I'm sure at some point we will do other things. Right, so we've been going whilst paused for oh nearly six minutes now. So let's hit play. Let's see what happens. This guy says he has no power. Why does he have no power? Is it just that he has nowhere to deliver it to? No, this guy also says he has no power. Well, that's not very good. Let's just cast an eye back. There are people building anyway. Why does it not think it's got power? I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't appear to have power. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to just mark out a small building plot. And hopefully that will provide power across. Hopefully. We, we, we can only hope here. Okay, let's let's just speed up the simulation here. See what's going to happen. Everyone should generally be alright. People just want to live here at the moment. They, they come in and out, use the... Use the main exit exit to the city, uh, and no one seems to actually work here at the moment, which is which is bad. Uh, we are down in money, but as we are watching these people build, you can see that it is slowly going back up. We are quite large on our population, 178 coming in all the time. These are just going to fill up, I think. That that should be good. And we now have need for industrial and commercial. Now, to me, industrial belongs down the bottom here somewhere. Or perhaps around this roundabout. Um, what we want to do is make some sort of flyover here so all the cars can go in and out. Should we Should we do that? Let's do one of the, the main, main amazing things about this game. I, I love this part of the game. So if we just put this here, what I'm going to do is press page up. And we get a nice little, oh, nice little bridge going over the top. I love that. I love that so much. Uh, and then from going here, if we press now page down, we should be able to put a little section in like that. And I'm going to try and do the same on this side. I'm not sure if it will connect up unless I do this. Okay, and then page down again. Space is already occupied. That is unfortunate. Why does it keep saying that? That's the sort of thing we want. Something like that. It's not quite out far enough, is it? 
It's a shame we can't build it this way. Yeah, like that. That's exactly what I want. And I just pressed the F key and strange things are happening. Okay, here we go. Darkness is encroaching. That's fine. That's fine. I wish it wasn't quite so encroachy. Uh, we could definitely do with some more time to do things. But let us come in here. I don't think we've got on ramps and off ramps yet. So we're going to have to try and make this um, you know, intuitive. So we've got one-way roads. Go away, I know. We've got one-way roads. What I'd like to do is bring them over to maybe here. And then from here, take it back into there. And that way, there it kind of functions like an off-ramp. Uh, hopefully, people aren't going to be stopping here. There's no like traffic lights or anything like that. In fact, it looks like quite a good system here. I like it. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side, but the other way around, if you see what I'm saying. We are going to take the one-way streets. We're going to take it from over there. We're going to connect up there and connect down here. Boom. Brilliant. Oh, that is amazing, actually. Do you reckon we can get... We can. I was going to say, do you reckon we can get some industrial around here? That's, that's not what we want, but if we just kind of select all this. There is a lovely little paint tool. I love this. This paint tool is the best. I'm not sure if on these slip roads is the best place to put industrial, but this is where it's going. Because, you know, that, that's all we got at the moment. We're going to build a industrial park, like over here, and maybe a small one over here. Uh, and then maybe have the commercial between the two. I think that might be even the way to do it though. If we do this and then just kind of munge this lot in with commercial, that should hopefully, as well as causing all sorts of traffic issues, mean that we have some good land for the, the right type of people. Yeah, uh, this looks good. Okay, these guys are complaining about food and water, not food and water, electricity and water already. Uh, you would have thought they would have given me like a couple of minutes to sort stuff out, but no, no, people like to complain almost immediately. But that's fine, that's fine. Right, brilliant. Does that cover everyone? I don't know. I don't know. We need to run the power down. Let's uh, slow down time just a little bit. Just while we get the power in place. Uh, mainly because people people complain a lot. There we go. Does that help? That should help this little district here, hopefully. Uh, and then once that little district's helped, that should then pass on power around here. To make sure, we're going to have a look on this view. Beautiful view. Exactly what we want. We've got more electricity than is being used. We've got more water and sewage capabilities than being used. This is our wind output. That's fine. Uh, but the one I really want, citizen happiness. What is going on here? Everyone is kind of all right, I suppose. That is all right. Okay, where are we at the moment? We are halfway to our Hamlet stage. That might be our goal for today's episode. Hit the Hamlet stage. Uh, right, so what we want to do here is... Maybe put in a few more industrial sectors. I mean, we seem to be getting going all right. This is this has made up some some good uh, good buildings here. There should be more on this side. I should imagine it's actually because this is only on a way out that they won't allow it. Um, though I should imagine they can come down here up and over. Traffic time. Traffic time will be a nightmare, I'm sure. So I think what we're going to do is build a one of these. Ooh, look at that. Going to take down a house. That's fine. Build one of these, and we're going to build a little little grid system up this way. Nothing quite like an industrial grid system, right? I love industrial grid systems. That may have been a little bit too big looking at it. Uh, if we can just push this... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Not enough money. You're kidding me, really? Boom. So, that's a little annoying. That is a little annoying. Well, let's just paint in some of this. This should be fine. In fact, there should be a fill option here. We're going to fill all this in. Boom, like that. We're going to see what happens. I'm sure we're going to have all sorts of issue. Uh, hopefully we can get down... Uh, I don't want to get down anymore. I want more more people to bring me money. Mm, this is not great. This is not great. I don't seem to be dropping below zero at any point. So I think that's okay. I, I think this is a, a good thing here. Alright, it's a, a foggy morning in the city. A lovely foggy morning. We have got ourselves started and underway. I think think we've got all the necessary um, amenities to keep people happy for the, at least the short term. Short term. We have no need for anything other than residential and people will be filling in this residential as we're watching it, no doubt. Uh, there seems to be quite a... There we go, we've got the traffic. Oh, this is this is so good. This is so good. Look at this. We've got a, a bit of an over overabundance of traffic here plus we are running out of power so we knew that this was a good one i think what i might do is put the next one over here so if anything happens to this line we're not going to be losing every oh yeah 
get in there. Little Hamlet. This is what we got. We can. So now that we've got gone up to a Hamlet, we, we are eligible for loans. This is something I don't do in city building games because every time I seem to take out a loan, it just comes along and bites me in the bum. I, I get all sorts of uh, horrific. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Insurance hype. Not insurance. Interest hikes, that's the word, wow, so excuse me with my bad language here, uh, yeah, in, interest hikes, and it all gets out of hand, and I end up owing more than I can actually possibly ever pay back, yeah, out of hand, that, that's the way, so we've got elementary school and medical clinic, always important to take care of your health and of your uh, education here, uh, and beyond that we've got garbage, healthcare, and education, well, I already said that bit, okay, still desperate to try and get this in here though, uh, we're going to pop that there. That should be brilliant. So, the next thing we need to think about is where is our health and education going? Do we want health? Do we want to educate? I don't actually know, to be fair. I de I'm fairly sure we want to uh, make people healthy. But as for the actual education, I'm not entirely certain. Outside connections? Not Look, we've got all this extra stuff here that we can play with now. Uh, this is on the slowest, isn't it? So, over here, we've got our outside connections. Who is connected to what and what is what is needed like here we've got the goods connection so i believe they are connected to this bit here which outputs goods uh this does forestry products that's nice so i would have expected them to be more over there export who's exporting what no one's exporting anything that's um not the best and here is some tourism that doesn't exist okay that's cool uh what else do we have here we've got the happiness did that the health health is abysmal we, we know that health is abysmal pollution <laughs> already getting a good start on here uh, and noise, much noise, there are many noises, but this is fine, this is fine. Um, right, with that, healthcare, boom, we are going to put them, now as much as I'd like to put it right in the central location here, I think that's going to be more important for things like uh, shops and offices and, and things like that. So I'm going to put my healthcare on this end, and then I think maybe we'll put our elementary, oh I can't afford it. I was going to put it right here. We were going to have, like, you know, smart people. Smart people would have been good for our, for our local inhabitants, but no, nope, we're not. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have real low wealth. Multiple prop, no water, no electricity. I, I knew that. D don't get off my back. I knew there was problems. Okay, so if we come up to here, I'm going to go all the way across, actually, I think. There we go. And then we'll do an up and down just here. I want to make sure that everything is well connected to the system. Uh, and now just a little bit of power line running up parallel to this road. Maybe like so. And then at some point things will get filled in and things will grow. And maybe all this will come into play. Who knows? Who knows? This is starting to get a little bit smoggy. I think smoggy is the word I'm looking for here. And we are having trash issues. So I think what we want to do is move this road all the way down. And maybe have garbage pickup somewhere or do we want the garbage pickup being down here uh, actually you know what i'm gonna put it right here as we already have quite a nasty piece of land i think down here would probably be a good place to go uh at later later points we will be able to get some uh incinerators on the go and deal with all the garbage from here but for now this is gonna have to do uh and hopefully i didn't see how efficient he was gonna be at that run do we actually have it here Oh, look at that. Perfect efficiency everywhere. Uh, when I was playing my last game, one of the problems that I actually had was I had too many one-way systems on the go. Uh, and I ended up... You see how this is like a, a dead zone here. I ended up with lots of bits like this where he just couldn't go forwards. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. So this is two-way road here. That's, that's fine. This really does want to get upgraded. Let's see if we can do that. We cannot do that. That's a shame. That is a shame. All right. Burning our way through the evening, trying to wait for daytime to, to come around. Unfortunately, the, without daylight, it's quite hard to get building here. Um, but I think we are doing okay. It might be time that we have uh, a bit of a sprawling sprawling housing, so uh, housing estate somewhere. I'm just having a look around. I'm thinking we could do with another one of these, maybe here. And that will lead into a housing estate here and here, which both filter into this and then up that way or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of that. Should we, um, should we see if we can give that a go? I'm going to go here. I want to page it up. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a nice nice short road. Uh, let us page it down from here. I wonder how close is too close. 
that close. Okay, that's fine. And then I want to do a similar situation here. You need to know how close is too close. Like that. Brilliant. Uh, here is one of the problems that I said were going to happen. Can't go through that way. Okay, we're going to go up and across and down. Because, you know, that's efficient. <laughs> right? <laughs> Surely. Okay, and from here, I think I want to take this down this way. Do we want to go all the way? I don't know. We're going to go there. Damn it. I wish I had gone all the way now. Uh, so we're going to pop that there. Stop it. Going to take this road away, I think, maybe? Yeah, I know there is residential demand. I'm trying to make room for the residential demand. I hate it when it keeps telling me that I've got to do stuff that I'm already in the middle of doing. Uh, plus, I hate it when I can't just seem to line up any roads. It's always the worst. So there's that one, and there's that one. Brilliant. Whew. That was actually... Um, a little bit awkward. A little bit awkward. So we're going to bring this up. Oh, no. We're going to bring it to here for now so we can see where we're supposed to go. And then on this one, we're going to go all the way here. Back. Brilliant. Uh, remember to have a look at the new unlocked building, the elementary school. Yeah, I can only just build it. I can, I've only just been able to build it. There we go. That should help everyone be super happy. Ah, oh, will, will you look? It ends here. So we're going to fill in these bits with uh, nice zoning like this and this. Um, do we want these ones? Now I'm going to leave these these middle bits free for now. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with these dead zones. That was a, a bit of a mistake by mine. It was just where this happened to go. Um, not great, but not the worst. Could definitely have been a lot worse. All right, so let us put in some some water and with us. Oh, space already occupied. Horrible horrors. If we can just get everyone connected up to the water system here, I am going to... Oh, wow. Worthy village. What a way to end the, the, the first episode. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we're going to explore all of this stuff. Look, we've got agriculture and forestry specialisation. We can make farms and chop down some trees. Police stations and firehouses. We get to look at our water usage and make all sorts of policies. Oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But anyway, until then...